Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about extra functions in Tosca with Excel automation series. If you are interested in learning about these three sections, I have videos in my playlist. Do check them out. So this video specifically we are going to talk about Excel file one on one comparison, which is a very likely scenario for you to test if you are working on Tosca with Excel automation. So there are several topics around this, like normal one on one file comparison there are several functions which it offers we are going to discuss cells data formats objects how to include multiple sheets or exclude there would be scenarios where you have to execute the scripts even after failure how to do that and some common errors as well so make sure you stick for the entire video let's get started so I have already created a test case with the name Excel file comparison and there is a standard module which we are going to import. It's as easy as that. Just search for Excel, Excel file, one on one file comparison. So here you will see we have lot of parameters here. But first we are going to talk about the happy path positive scenario. Okay. So since we are going to compare two files, we need to give one reference file path and one target file path, right? Now what I have done is I have taken one sheet and I have just made two copies of that exactly same file but just a different naming naming convention okay now here if you see I have I'm using the same file we were using in the previous videos it's just that I have reduced the data a little bit in this so that it does not take a lot of time for comparison and our video is not unnecessarily being made uh, longer okay so I'll just put this particular file path these both are exactly the same files, uh, the same file copy which I have shown here. So what we'll do is we'll put the reference file here and we'll put uh, the name file comparison one dot xlsx. Okay. And I'll copy and I'll paste this in the target file and I just change the naming convention to two here. Now, if I execute this, it needs to, it will show us the result in the scratch book, right? But we have to see that uh, where we are going to save that file. So we are going to talk about that. Let's first run this. So if I run this in the scratch book, what it will do is it will compare this file with this file and all the data inside that. Since the everything is same, it is going to give us a positive result. So in the time it loads, I will talk about this output path as well in the same time. So here we can give the path of any file. It does not matter what extension. You can use txt, you can use xls, you can use xlsx, all those things you can use. And it is going to put whatever the result is coming in this comparison and it is going to post in that particular uh, file which we are going to refer. Okay. So here you see. We are getting that this particular file matches with this file, but this is only in the scratch book. Okay, so now we are going to talk about the output path. We are going to maybe we can use the exact same uh, folder path, and I can just put something called results, and just uh, so that we are sure, we will use some other file extension, maybe XLS. Okay, and uh, this is going to put my output path here okay so let's run this next once this is done we are going to talk about the other stuff as well cells data formats object sheets and in the meantime i can just cover these two points quickly so reference password target password it's just that if your files have password productivity you can always put those passwords here and it is going to perform the comparisons for you. But in case you do not have a password protected file, you don't need to mention these parameters. So our test uh, execution is completed. Let's take a look at this. So you see, even if the file does not exist, it gets created and it is going to log our uh, results into this. So here you'll see the file matches with the file this. Okay. Now this was a positive scenario we will uh, do some changes in the file and we'll get started with the remaining stuff as well okay so 
I'll go to file part two and I'll manually make some changes. So maybe what I can do is I can copy these three names, four names and I can put these names, manager names in the salesman section. Yes, I want to overwrite and I'll cut this and I'll paste it here. Okay. So these eight are going to be mismatches. Okay. I'll just save my file and I will close it. Okay, so we should be able to see negative scenarios in this. Okay, now quickly I'll talk about the second parameter, uh, which we discussed here: sales data formats, objects, and their default behaviors. So if you see sales data, what does it mean? Is is it going to do a comparison of each cell against the next sheet or not? So by default, this is going to be true. Okay, but in case we want to exclude that, we can exclude that by giving false here. Okay. Then it is going to compare the other stuff like the worksheet names and all those things only that's it okay so by default this is true and formats what do we mean by format is uh, when we see inside the excel file and we'll have the things like uh, it is in calibri format or uh, it is in uh, arial format it is going to match that so this is going to be by default false but if you want we can mention it as true okay we'll, we'll take a look at this as well now when we talk about objects what do we mean is that in in case of excel we'll sometimes see the shapes we'll see the charts and all those things so by default it will be false but if you want we can make it as true so this will be by default true and these both are going to be by default false but we can change the behavior if we need to okay now we'll first do our comparison and we'll see if the negative scenario is actually fetching us the results which we are seeking for or not okay so uh, this is going to take like similar time what it took previously but it is going to give us the result and same thing is going to be coming in the output path so let's wait for this execution to get completed in the meantime if you are interested in uh, this series i have for workbook worksheet range i have talked about this thing in the previous videos you can check those out I have a lot of other videos as well uh, related to task automation on my channel so do check those out as well okay so obviously this got failed is what we were expecting now here if you will take a look at this see we changed eight values and one two three four five six seven eight and it is telling that these things are mismatching and similar names we can see because we have just the interchange the names it is going to explicitly tell you which cell which value and all those things as well okay and we'll quickly check this results file as well so this results file is going to get overwritten and it is going to give all the data okay now we'll take a look at sales data okay so this is by default true if i put it as false then it is going to be a successful scenario because it is not going to compare each and every thing every cell data here okay so if i run this now it is going to be a pass and since it is not comparing the data okay so same thing you are seeing here okay so i'll just remove this or if you want you can put it as true as well same thing would be there okay now we'll quickly talk about the formats as well. So what we'll do is we'll take one of the files and we'll change little bit of formatting. So what we can do is uh, maybe for these first two names, I'll change the format from Arial to maybe uh, something else, Calibri. Okay. And then I'll save this. So by default, this is false, but I'm going to make it as true now. And then we are going to compare. Uh, remember, if we are putting the format, it is going to take a little bit more time because it is comparing the format as well. So it is going to take a little bit more time to compare that, but it is going to give us the exact result. 
what it was before and what it has got gotten into so let's take a look at this okay so finally our comparison is completed uh, it took a lot of time like around five minutes because it does the format comparison as well but here if you'll see it will mention what difference was there as well as what difference in terms of uh, the format is also there so here if you will take a look at the first four options here here it was martha here it is john here it is ariel and this is calibri same thing for all the other cells as well so we can do this comparison as well i'll remove this now and we'll move to the next section objects we have already discussed if we enable it to be true then it is going to check for the graphs uh, the shapes and all those things okay now the next thing is sheets okay now if you would have noticed in these files i'll just showcase you so we have two sections here sale data and sales data okay so it was actually comparing both of them okay it's just that uh, we did not do any changes in the sales data so it was not uh, uh, giving us any output okay but if we do that we would we would be able to see that so that means this if we are not mentioning anything in include sheets it is by default going to compare whatever sheet is present so if i have five sheets present here and five sheets in one it is going to compare all of those but let's say i just want to check sales data and not sale data this has the change which we don't want to check now okay so what we can do is we can use this and i can maybe uh, rename the managers uh, i can delete this and i can put something uh, maybe youtube maybe subscribe here something like that okay and i just want to use compare the sales data so sales space data is there that's all i need to mention okay so if i mention it like this and now if i compare it is going to compare only one worksheet let's take a look at this if it actually works so we are going to see two differences and those other four differences in the another worksheet is not going to get populated if this works fine okay so we were expecting failure now let's see what we are getting here so see we are getting only four values here because it was just comparing the first sales data okay. but let's say i want to uh, include two sheets and maybe if i have four sheets or something like that i can just put a semicolon here and I can put the second sheet name okay if there is a third sheet and I want to skip it I won't mention that but if there are only two sheets and I want to match both of them I can uh, leave it empty or I can put the same uh, whatever sheets name are there here okay so that's how we manage uh, the sheets part output part we have already discussed about okay now let's take a look at uh, this thing execute scripts even after failure okay so our script we need to we have a scenario in which uh, i am doing the comparison and which I just want to see this results at a later point in time but i want the remaining steps to get executed okay uh, you might have worked on these type of scenarios in which uh, you will think that this could be a, a verification failure and so that whatever step i'll mention it will work it's not the case so we'll just quickly add one basic uh, step of maybe open url yeah open url we can use and maybe i can mention some url i can put in maybe i can put in my youtube.com slash corporate it education i can use this and i'll close this i'll just put this url okay now in order for the script to be executed even after failure, the step to be executed even after failure, I need to go to test configuration parameter here, and obviously browser needs to be added, so that is already there. But uh, I'll add this parameter as on dialog failure. So 
you might think that this is continue okay you might think that this is a uh, going to be a verification failure but in case of verification we do mention that okay match a with b okay here we are just putting the files so tosca is actually doing the comparison so in that case if you remember the concepts correctly that is a dialog failure so that's why in the test configuration we have to mention dialog failure if you're mentioning verification failure the next step is not going to get executed but let's take a look at this if it actually works or not so so that is going to cover this fourth part if you come across this scenario that you have to execute the scripts even after failure you can easily use this So we have to wait for 30 more seconds. Okay, so see our URL is also launched perfectly here. Okay. And our script is failed as well. Okay. Let me just check this. So see, this step is failed, but our URL is successfully launched. So this is how you can execute your uh, script if you run across this particular condition execute scripts even after failure and obviously if you want the step to be fail you don't need to mention this and it is going to fail and it is not going to execute the next step now one more thing is uh, you might see this particular error when you are doing some sort of excel file comparison and when does the error comes i'll showcase you that so basically what happens is if i do a file comparison one with uh, a file comparison too okay so let me open both the files so here if you see in from second row to almost till ninth row this is a date right and here same thing in the file one and file two okay but date and date can be compared okay but here let's say if i change dates with maybe uh, some values I'll put this here okay then the comparison is cannot be done right because this is of a different character type and this is of a different type okay so let me save this and showcase it to you so if you want to compare those two files at that point in time it is obviously going to throw you a error so if you're getting an error this is the reason for that if your files contain similar things like this so I can just run this particular thing we already have everything lined up here and uh, we are going to have some issue in the comparison because we have changed the data and then this it is not going to reach to that level because initially only it is going to throw the failure because the type mismatch is there okay but let's see to so see we got the failure and here we are getting this error operator this cannot be applied to operands of type string and double okay so we are going to get this error because we have changed the data types here so that covers all these five different things which i have talked about now in the next video we are going to talk about how to run excel macro and if you like the series do like share and subscribe and have a great day thank you